All right, everybody, so I'm going to show you how to build a website using Squarespace. Go ahead and open up your internet browser, and in the URL, go ahead and type squarespace.com. I'm going to go ahead and just click it since I have it here already. All right, so as you guys can see here, this is going to go ahead and load the regular website. And you can scroll down and kind of get an idea of what the website and the feel looks like to see if it's something that you want to use. I personally really like it because it's got everything I need in it. So if you want to get started, go ahead and click the Get Started button. And from there, you can go ahead and create your template. And you create an account. And you're able to pick through all the pre-made templates for you. So it makes it even easier. Once you have that done, you can either go ahead and I'm just going to say log in since I already have an account with them. All right, so now that the main page has loaded, let me give you guys a quick walk around on how to use this. So you have your navigation here on your left. And this is all going to be your pages that you will set up and that your visitors will see. On the very far left right here, the I is a preview. So this is exactly what it says. It allows visitors to see what you would see. Uh, this is going to be your content manager which we're already inside because it's highlighted. The next one down is going to be your analytics or your activity. Settings, this allows you to change anything and everything throughout the website itself. And then the money sign is going to be your e-commerce. So when you're going to set up a store and you need to sell product on your website, you can use this to help set up all your tax, shipping, uh, things of that sort. Uh, there's also a couple of ones you can click down here. This will take you, if you have multiple pages, you can actually get to them quickly just by going through your multiple pages. Uh, if you have multiple websites, uh, which is nice. So, the next step from there is obviously you need to define all your pages in your navigation. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with what is already pre-built in here. So as you guys can see here, this is named as Photos. If you wanted to change this, you'd click the little gear cog here. And you could type in Gallery. And this is going to be for my photography, so I'm just going to use it as that, something simple. You can make it whatever you want, though. All right, now we change this to gallery. As you can see, it comes with preloaded pictures from Squarespace. You can easily delete all these. And then you can actually upload your own. So if we want to go ahead and upload one, click Add Image. And you can even highlight multiple ones if you want. And I'll just go ahead and click those and say open. Now it's going to go ahead and start loading the thumbnails. Alright, as you can see here, now all the thumbnails have loaded in. You can use these throughout your website, or if you're just wanting to create a gallery like I was, you now have a gallery built. Pretty simple. Alright, so we'll go ahead and delete all the ones that came on with Squarespace. And if you want to, you can easily just rearrange these, drag them, move them around, whatever you feel is necessary. And it's also going to be the main page that's going to load because of where it's located. Now if you want to create a blog, easily, if it's got one you can here, I'll remove this one so you guys can see what it's like to make a brand new one. Um, how to build a website. This is going to be your title, and this is where you're going to start typing all, all your steps. So step one, find website host. And you can actually add for instance, you want to add an image in here. Click that Add button. Grab the image that you want. And for instance, I'll just grab a different image. Uh, 
and I'll just grab this one right here. And you have different availabilities for that image. Oops, what I do here? My bad. Pull your image in. And you can make it stretch. You have different options here, or you can do a light box. Um, we'll say, sure, we have a light box. All right, now here's your image inside of your blog. So now you can start building. Uh, so that's step one. Step two, we'll say, add photos. And you can either make this a draft, or you can save it, or you can save and publish. Publish will make it go live. You can add comments if you want people to add comments. For instance, you want to add a tag, you could say, uh, website design motorcycles photography and I'm just hitting a comma at the very end and that adds each individual tag category will say uh, blog okay done save and publish there you go there's your first blog all right, now you need an about me page. So if somebody wants to contact you, you could say you can name it about me, or you could say contact me, whatever you want. Save. Now you can easily add an info container, and I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. I'm going to say add a block, the I form, which is going to be information form. Click that, and now you have a new form name, and you can change that to contact me. And you can add different things in here. For instance, you want to know what their uh, what's their website. Maybe if you want to check it out. And now they can either put in their website there when they go in to send this form into you, and say save, save. All right. Now you have a contact page me here with their name, email address, subject, message, and if they want, they can also put in their own personal website. And here you could say. Logan Wild Photographer Motorcycle Motorcyclist if I spell it right. Alright. Okay. And inside of here if you wanted to, you could say add a block and you could say image. Click this. And now we can easily add an image in here. If you want to add a caption, you can. You can add a light box again. Hit save. All right, so now you can see is I actually brought an image of in of me with the contact, but it's not in the right spot. So easily to fix that, you're just going to go ahead and drag and drop and move it up. And there you go. So a nice little picture of myself. You can put your little about me, say what you want here, and then you also have your contact information. So now you just made a contact page. All right. Next one up is going to be, for instance, you want to sell products on your website. So you can name it shop or you can name it whatever you want. You can change it there. And now you can see here that Squarespace has all this preloaded stuff on here and you don't you probably don't want any of that obviously. So you could say select all and say delete, say confirm. But now you know what you want to add, so you're going to click add product and it's going to be a digital product. That's not a physical item because it's going to be a photograph that we're going to be that's going to be for sale. So I'm going to choose an image from my computer. And now it's going to go ahead and enter that in and I'm going to say Jeep Cherokee for the title. And this is going to be a 20 by 30 canvas wrap. Pricing, you can go ahead and enter your price in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and say uh, it's $100. And it's now on sale for $85. And you can put a little on sale tag and it'll let them know that it's on sale. If you need to put in additional info in here, you could easily put that in there. You could enter in uh, 1991 Jeep Cherokee photo taken in Redding, California. 
You have different options in here. You can add a thumbnail image. You can even attach your social accounts to it, for instance, Facebook, other things of that sort. So now you can see here, here's your image. And you could say save and publish. You can add categories as well. Um, you can edit your pricing, things of that sort. So now you have your image here. It's for sale. All right, so there's one product there. So now you just created your shop. This is where people would then come if they need to buy something. Now, for instance, you want to add another page. For instance, uh, you could click on your main navigation. You could click add a page. Or in your secondary navigation, you can say add a page. And from here, you're going to click whatever you need. All right, so if you want to create a blank page, you can easily do that here, and you can type in whatever you want. Pretty simple as that. Give you an idea of what your overview and activity is going to look like. Click this. Site information. Uh, this is going to be your site name, Logan Wild, uh, Logan Wild Photos, or I could say Logan Wild Photography. Uh, tagline is, you know, outstanding imagery by Logan Wild. Site description. Photos of Logan Wild and his work. If you have metadata, you can put that in here. Here's a logo I, if I want to use my logo, uh, my browser icon, personal to photography. You can enter in your contact number, an email address, where you're located. It even pulls up a map. And you can hit save settings. Now it saves it. Go to general. You can enter all your Google Analytics, everything from your... If you have an Amazon store account, you can put that in there. You can change your time and geography location so that way people have a better idea of where you're at. Now you can also connect accounts, attach your Facebook page if you want, share buttons. You can have all this. This will show up on the very front of your main page. Um, if you have contributors, to allow them to have permission to the website to work on it. So if you want to help have somebody else help you out, you can add them and give them permissions. This is where you would actually set up your domain and you can register a free domain or you can even link an existing domain if you already have one. Here you can change your template. You can import, export, add coding. Okay. Next one down from there is going to be your e-commerce. This is where if you need to you can set up your ordering, inventory, shipping, set up coupons, taxes. Uh, you even get, if you have their business account, it's their top tier package. It also gives you email with MailChimp, uh, which will uh, give you even more control and allow you to contact all your customers that are coming in here. And then, of course, you even have uh, store settings where you can connect uh, with Stripe, which allows you to take pay online payments. Click the eye at the very top, and this is now going to load the main page of what you're going to see. And I'll go ahead and have a load to gallery. Okay. And this is what they would see when they would click onto it. And of course, you can go in here and you can adjust everything with your settings here. And you could rearrange this photo so it shows up better. If you want to click, you can click blog. How to build a website. Here it is right here. Obviously, you can go in here and remove all this so it's not here. Um, but you get an idea of how this works. Contact me. Alright, just how you saw it. Logan Wild Photographer Motorcyclist. Here's a picture of myself, obviously, and then your contact information. Shop. There's that image that we just put on here. You can now click this and say Add to Cart. It tells them a price. It's a canvas wrap. Alright. And then it, your more information down there is at the very bottom. And then the new page that we created obviously has nothing on there. That's what it's going to show. You can click the home back, click your main image there, and it'll take you back to the main page. Now clicking any one of these buttons here will actually allow you to edit the content on the page. Click the paintbrush, and now the paintbrush will bring up all your options here on the left um, to go ahead and... Um, adjust your site, uh, all your background settings, so images, colors, things of that sort, alignment, the entire, how to adjust everything for you. So obviously you'll need to spend some time playing around in this, um, but 
you have a better idea of how it's going to work though. And you have all different sorts of settings you can save these to. So. Anyways, hope this helps for you guys. Gives you guys a little better idea of how to build a website. As you guys can see here, it's pretty basic. Doesn't take a whole lot. And you can't beat the pricing for everything that you get. I'll say save. If you wanted to, for instance, you could add a background image. Um, if you don't want it to load the gallery, if you wanted to load maybe to the blog, you can have everything adjusted. So very customizable, lots and lots of stuff to play with. So anyways, hope this helps.